Good afternoon, folks. The Minister for Justice, Helen McEntee, joined by Public Expenditure Reform, Pascal Donoghue TD, has today launched Dublin North City Inner City Local Community Safety Plan. Check out gov.ie for the whole amazing story. It acknowledges that the local community knows best how to improve safety in their areas and will, working with the HSE, Tusla, education providers, business groups, on Garda Síochána, public and community representatives, draw plans to identify what actions are needed. Uh, also, a new breed of state-sponsored vigilantes will be recruited from troubled localities. Teams from the Department of Justice will organise the recruiting of these proposed community safety wardens to work in Wolftown Square or Collins Street, other notorious deprived housing areas such as Oliver Bond Flats, Dunn Street Flats, Hardwick Street Flats, etc. etc. Their brief will be to patrol the mean streets of Dublin and rat on the hooligans and thugs who they witness assaulting tourists and shoppers and who may be their next door neighbours. Good luck with that, Helen. The plan is short on further detail. Will they have a new uniform, even an armband to indicate their status? Will they have powers of arrest? Will they carry a taser gun? The Gardaí have warned Helen McEntee they will not tolerate a cheap competing and rival security apparatus in the state, so this mad scheme is unlikely to amount to much. The press release continues. HSE to the Department of Justice and on Garda Síochána to extend drug outreach programmes, particularly to the under-18s. The HSE is bust and looking for €4 billion Euros to maintain current services. They have recently written to numerous families with mentally and physically handicapped children to tell them that they cannot recruit drivers to transport them to the five hubs in Dublin where they are cared for, nor can they allocate the monies for the two carers who are normally allocated to each child, which would normally receive weekly care in these hubs. Tusla has to be the most useless and inefficient quango in the whole range of state-sponsored organisations and should be dismantled. Besides, they have indicated they actually need hundreds more staff to become more useless than ever. Only half of the new Garda recruits who are, who are selected for training in Templemore College actually turned up for this secure pensionable public service job. Many did not bother to notify the Department of Justice they were not coming. The 2023 Garda recruitment campaign has attracted fewer than half the numbers who applied last year. So, probation service on Garda Síochána, Tusla and others to provide new programmes for young, prolific offenders engaged in violent criminal behaviour. HSE to provide help bus to promote positive care in health interventions such as vaccinations and tackling obesity. On Garda Síochána, community bus is to be set up to address small piecing policing matters. So the HSE will have health buses uh, patrolling Talbot Street and uh, uh, high crime areas. The Garda will have community buses also uh, loitering around there to uh, to help uh, druggies and uh, tuggies uh, if they want to ask for any help. Uh, so vaccination and obesity buses too. Unbelievable. What higher civil servants dreamed up this kind of stuff, one may ask, when Helen McEntee approached them to come up with a plan in response to almost daily assaults on innocent shoppers and tourists by these under 18 year old thugs who are actually untouchable in the eyes of the law. If the famous writer Lewis Carroll were alive today, he would surely be inspired to write a sequel to his book Alice's Wondering Adventures in Wonderland, with a slight change in the title, Helen's Adventures in Wonderland. Good luck, folks. Talk to you again soon.